And next we have the uh, candidates that are running for the Board of Aldermen in the Village of French Settlement. So we're going to use the same format. We'll start uh, to, to further us to my right, Mr. Idell. You'll, you'll, you'll be able to stand and give us a three-minute introduction. All right. Uh, my name is Jeremy Idell, running for... Not on. Uh, my name is Jeremy Idell. I'm running to uh, retain my seat on the board of Alderman and French Settlement. Uh, lived there my whole life, born and raised. My wife of 13 years now, uh, raised my family there. Uh, both of my kids go to French Settlement, heavily invested in my community. Um, graduated in 1999, went to Louisiana State University, got a master's in accounting, been a CPA for 18 years now. I own, uh, me and my wife own uh, eight, 15 Sport Clips haircut franchises from uh, Lake Charles to uh, Ocean Springs, Mississippi. Now, why am I running for office? Uh, if you've driven through French Settlement uh, recently, uh, you may have seen a sign or two uh, that has uh, community and accountability. It didn't even say what I'm running for because I didn't have room. Uh, but uh, community is very important to me. I, you know, like, like I said, I, I'm very passionate about the community of French Settlement. Uh, I want to see it grow. I want to see it prosper. Um, back in 2020, I was uh, blessed to be a part of a Livingston Leadership uh, group that was able to bring a playground to the community of French Settlement. And I'll tell you that day uh, that we unveiled that project uh, is probably some of the happiest uh, faces I've seen in French Settlement in quite some time. In my opinion, and I hope that that was the start of the unifying of our community, uh, we have some challenges, as you know, and you've heard, but I think we're going we're gonna to grow from that. Um, as well, uh, my wife and I this year, we started the Louisiana Clippers Youth Organization. Uh, as you remember, back in 2018, uh, we lost our recreational tax in Lower Livingston, and uh, that's always bothered me, and even though it doesn't replace recreation ball, it's something that I wanted to give back to the community. So accountability, I think it goes without saying me being a CPA why well, I put that on my sign. Um, but I want, you know, accountability being understanding the financial situation of our village and effectively communicating that to the village because what you see on social media is not always uh, what's actually happening effectively being able to answer questions whenever they come up during during those meetings. I think that's what I can uh, bring to the table. Uh, last month, we actually passed a budget, uh, worked with uh, the other alderman, uh, Mr. Murphy, pledged to continue to work with him. Uh, we're running for two open seats. I uh, hope that uh, the village will, will vote me in. I want to thank my uh, fellow uh, candidate, uh, Mr. Kluot here, for being here tonight. I uh, talked with him earlier. I think he has the best interest of the village at, at, at heart. Uh, best of luck to you and to those who uh, couldn't make it tonight. Thank you. My name is Sean Kluwat, um, running for Alderman of uh, French Settlement. A uh, little big background about myself is uh, born and raised in French Settlement. Mom and dad both were teachers. Uh, I have a lovely wife that of 22 years that I'm married to. Uh, we've lived in, moved back to French Settlement 20 years ago, ha own a house, have five children. All of them have gone to French Settlement and graduated. I had one oops, that's now in fifth grade. Uh, <laughs> so we're still going to French Settlement as of now. Uh, so I, I work at a chemical plant. I'm an operator at a chemical plant. Been there for 20, uh, 20 years now. Um, what I want to bring to French Settlement is, is stability and transparency. You know, uh, I grew up in this town where it was, you didn't hear a whole lot of things going on. Things were taken care of. We had a rec department. We had, uh, you know, uh, King George had a baseball field. We had different things in the community that people could go do. And I think we've lost that. Uh, what I would like to do is try to get back that and uh, you know I'm glad Jeremy kind of mentioned my name too because I think Jeremy would also be a good candidate to do that He he's he has a CPA that gives the transparency that we need so we can tell people what they have There is a lot of things on social media uh, And a lot of negative things that goes back and forth I'm, My race is not about that what I post on my Facebook is going to be positive information of what I want to see And what I like to see in in the uh, village of French settlement um you know, more than anything, 
I think we need to get back to the, the small community town that we used to be. Uh, you know, we want, that, we want growth, we want to do that, but we also have to be fiduciary f responsible. And so when we do have the funds, we can show where we, those funds are going. And that, that goes a long way because there's a lot of misinformation out there and we need to make sure that we are aggressively showing everybody what we can show and do any things that we can do for the community. Um, I would like, I'm with Jeremy, I would like to, uh, to be able to have some sports in our thing, you know, have some different things that we have, give back to our youth, get them more involved in some of the things that we do on a daily basis. Um, I want to thank y'all for y'all time for inviting me. Uh, I want to also say thank you for Jeremy for introducing me for like that. Um, I please would, if you live in a pound of French settlement, please vote. Thank you. Now, as you talk to the voters within the village, what are the biggest issues that you're hearing about and how do you plan to address them? Um, some of the most, most common things that I've heard was uh, basically that stability. I mean, right now, we, we're doing an, a, a short-term election right now because two people, uh, you know, did not want to want be a part of that the alderman anymore. So stability and transparency, like I said, was the other thing. You know, they, a, lot of, a lot of people out there were looking towards, you know, what, where is this money being spent? Why are we doing, spending money this way? And like I said, I think what we can do and bring to them is that transparency. You know, show them what we have. I mean, these are their, their taxes that are being used. We need to make sure that we explain to them when we can or can't do something because our budget will not allow us. So that's what I would like to bring to them, and that's what a lot of things what I heard when I was out walking around. All right, so a uh, couple of things that I've, I've heard that I think uh, have been the most uh, challenging uh, or number one, transparency is showing head on. Uh, there's, there's a, a misperception that we're not being, or the, the village is not being transparent. And I think we can improve. I think we have improved since I've been there. Uh, we've got Zoom working again, so that's a start. So people can watch from home, actually see what's going on, and don't have to read on social media about what may or may not have happened. So, so that, that's, that's a, a big win for us. Uh, and transparency goes with, uh, you know, understanding. Uh, people don't understand our current financial situation. If you read on social media, we're in loads and loads of debt. You know, the world's going to end. But in actuality, uh, we don't have any debt. You know, uh, we've got a little bit of debt. Um, what, what they don't understand is we are running a deficit. So we're spending more money than we're bringing in, which, yeah, that's a problem. But we have cash to cover that right now. But what I, what I will say is I, uh, if I'm in office, we will not no longer run a deficit. So. Now, I know we have heard that there have been some who are talking of possibly unincorporating the village of French Settlement. What would be your stance on that? Oh, I'm glad you asked that, Todd. <laughs> so uh, that's absolutely the case. Uh, and um, the reason I'm here tonight is, is because there is a concern of that happening. Um, I don't want that to happen. I think uh, it's important to have your village incorporated so you can apply for grants and funding when natural disasters hit. There's a number of different reasons. And, and you know, I, I've heard, just as, as y'all have, that, that that may have happened. And, uh, you know, I didn't want to see that happen being born and raised there. So, so yes, that is a, a big concern to me. Uh, but I, I'm optimistic. I think that we're on the right track. I think, uh, you know, having someone like myself with a financial background in there to alleviate the concerns of the public, educate them of our current financial situation, and, uh, you know, and just be honest. If we don't know the answer, just say, look, I'll, I'll, I'll look into it. I'll, I'll tell you next month. You know, we just need to be honest about things. I just want to reiterate, reiterate what Jeremy said. I mean, obviously the same thing. I, I, I definitely do not want us to be uh, not incorporated. I mean, like you said, there's plenty of benefits in us staying incorporated. Um, and the rumors are out there that, that certain people are trying to move toward that. And that's, you know, me and being born and raised in French Settlement, that's not a thing that I want to do. We have, you know, wonderful police department and a wonderful fire department. I want to keep that you know, in-house and not have to worry about, you know, if we need something right away that it, it's got to come from Walker or it has to come from another another city. 
So definitely want to stay where we're at. We're keep incorporated in that way we can keep growing the way we are. And I think there is room for growth in what we're doing. And Jeremy kind of hit on the financials, but I think we are going in the right direction. So the question is, what are your thoughts and plans for growth and infrastructure within the village? I mean, there's definitely room for growth in, in, in the Village of Prince Settlement. Um, but what I also want to see is that we, I know a, a candidate earlier spoke on it, you know, that we have the infrastructure for it. So right now I know there's plans for a, a huge, uh, you know, subdivision that's coming through there. You know, my kids going to school in Prince Settlement, I know what we can hold and what we can't hold. And, you know, if we're going to have that growth, let's make sure that we are, we have the infrastructure support that growth with the flooding, with the ditches, with the sewers. Make sure that we can do all those things and still grow. I think there is room for growth. I think we have, uh, you know, even some, even more room for some of the, you know, the, the companies and businesses to come in there. So I think we got potential there. We just need to monitor it and make sure we're going in the right direction. So I agree we have room for growth, but we need smart growth. Um, I don't know that bringing a bunch of businesses to the area would really benefit us a whole lot right now because our, our current tax system, we, we, we don't collect any sales tax. People think that we get sales tax from, uh, from the parish. We don't currently have any sales tax. We don't get any property tax. All we collect is occupational taxes and some franchise fees. So, you know, you know long term, I think we need to, number one, uh, prove to the public that we can spend the, the little funds that we have. Um, but, but secondly, we need to look about, you know, we are going to grow and we need to plan for that growth. So, you know, to, to, to say to have a business and a small sales tax or, or, or you know, whatever to bring in some, some different revenue streams, um, I'm not proposing that now because, quite frankly, we haven't proven that we can appropriate and spend the money that we have. But, uh, look, we're growing like Sean said. There's a potential subdivision. Uh, we're going to need some help in growing. Uh, probably some outside help on that. So, uh, but but yeah, I'm a very pro growth guy. Give them a round.